In this video, we're going to be talking about a shooting bag or a range bag in this case and why have one. And then I'm going to show some of the things I keep in my range bag. And then you can determine whether or not, you know, these are the things that you need or maybe other things as well. You can certainly add in the comments. So the first thing about shooting is if you own one gun or multiple guns, I always recommend that you start out by buying a shooting bag. And also I recommend that you buy the larger size shooting bags as well. So one of the mistakes I hear people, I see people make periodically is they buy a small range bag and then they start shooting more often. And what happens is over time, they run, they run out of space and have to upgrade their bag. So you might as well get the right size bag to begin with. There's a number of good manufacturers out there. Uh, the one I have in here that I've used for years is uh, made by Midway USA. It is their competition range bag, which is their full size bag comes in multiple colors black you know brown all types of things but the reality is uh, this is one of the the better ones in my opinion better values on the market but there's a lot of others 5, 511 a lot of other makes uh, range bag but the important thing is to get the right size bag to begin with and, and have something that's relatively good quality again the large size bag serves multiple purposes one is as you're going to see as I go through all and show you all the things that I have in my bag it's important to have enough room for everything that you're going to need even if you only have for example one handgun or one one rifle, you're going to find that your space is going to fill up very fast. The second thing about the uh, a larger range bag is it also serves as a great bench rest as well. So if you're shooting, for example, outside or at the range, periodically you might want to lay your rifle onto something as a bench rest or maybe shoot as a, uh, as a rest. And again, the bag is, is a great uh, a great assist in that in that purpose as well. So again, having the larger size bag will help you accomplish and, and do those things. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to talk about the things I've accumulated over the years in my shoot bag and why I have them here. And, and the most important thing you're going to see is a lot of this comes from experience. Uh, one of the things that I've seen over the years, and, and, and you might learn yourself if you're new to shooting, is the one of the last things you want to do when you go to the range or, or go outside shooting is you want to forget. You don't want to forget something, whether it be a tool, a magazine, supplies, anything that's going to make your trip miserable. Um, I've seen people literally show up, you know, shooting outdoors, you know, at these places and they'll forget magazines or they'll, they'll forget a tool to fix this or, or, you know, or something. So the, the idea is to try to keep as much as you, as you possibly use most commonly into one place so that every time you go, you can simply take your shooting bag with you and use it over and over again, not having to worry about, did I forget something that's going to uh, ultimately make your, your shooting trip uh, not that much fun. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to walk through the things that I have in my bag and just, you know, my layout might be different than yours if you have a shooting bag, but this is just to give you some ideas as to what I do. The first thing is on the outside pocket, I have two things here. One is I have my optics and I always keep them in a hard case. My shooting glasses, that way they don't get damaged or, or bumped into. Next to that is a pocket, an open pocket. I always keep a, uh, a jar of REM oil with me as well. Uh, you, if you're shooting ARs or other types of things, you never know when you're going to need some type of lubrication. So it's a good idea to keep a can of that with you as well. Moving over to the other pockets on this side of the bag. The first pocket I, is where I keep all my ear protection. These are the molded ear pieces as well as the, the inner uh, inner ear type things that you can use as well. And I have a, quite a few of these because the reality is not only my, I need them for myself, but I also use them if somebody else comes along. Again, some people might have forgot things or, or they need them or you're to bring somebody to shoot with you, you need to have plenty of them to go around. The next pocket I have is where I keep all my tools. And there's a lot of the tools I've accumulated here over the years. And I have quite a few in here, but there's a couple things in particular I keep in here. I keep a, a number of punches in case I need to drift sights. I have a miniature uh, screwdriver, which comes in handy quite a bit. Um, I have a lot of pens and markers to mark up targets, as well as make notes. When I'm shooting, um, I have uh, old toothbrushes to, to clean with. I have a crescent wrench that I use, and, and this size seems to be perfect. It's not too heavy. Naturally, I use it for the adjustment, but also it's, it's just heavy enough that if I need to tap a side over using the punches or things like that, I can use it as a miniature hammer as well. And then I've, I also have a multi-tool here, a machine tool type um, screwdriver that allows me to change out the heads various different heads that you're going to run into when you're shooting. So if in case I need to make changes to my guns at the range, I can easily do that with this and I can change the ratcheting of as well. There's a number of more tools in here, but this is the pocket where I do keep all my tools as well as my Allen wrenches. 
and things of that of nature uh, that I would need to adjust sights or, or make changes uh, to the gun, to any guns that I have. On the outward pocket is where I keep a lot of my paperwork as well as masking tape. If you've never shot before, you're going to need to have a lot of masking tape with you. Uh, you're going to need them not only to tape up your targets, but also to what I like to do is to make the targets last longer. I used it to tape over the bullet holes in the targets as well. So you, if, you, if you're short on targets or you want to be more economical with your targets, you're going to want to have a lot of masking tape with you um, when you shoot. And then of course I keep a lot of red dots as well as uh, extra batteries for all the types of uh, different optics I'll be utilizing. Some sea shoot uh, uh, targets as well, some paperwork, etc., etc. So I keep all that in the outer pocket here. Now, on this pocket on the side here is where I keep all of my magazines. And the one thing you're going to notice about this pocket is there's a lot of magazines in here. Not only do I have magazines, but I also have loaders that I use for all the magazines that I have. Now, here's what I do is any pistol or rifle that I have that I tend to shoot often. What I always do is I make sure that I have one extra magazine at all times in my shooting bag. So if I ever pull my Glock 21 or my Glock 20 or my 19 or anything else, my you know P320 out of bags or, or things of that nature, I always know if I pull it out of the safe and take it along shooting, I'm always going to have an extra magazine in case I forgot to bring a magazine along with me. So one of the habits I've gotten into, I always recommend that people do, is anytime you buy a gun, make sure you have at least one extra magazine magazine and always keep it in your shooting bag. The other benefit will be that, for example, there might be times where you didn't forget, but maybe you went shooting with somebody and they forgot, right? They didn't have a shooting bag or things of that nature. You could always keep a couple extra magazines there. Now, one of the things I do is the ones, the, the pistols that I shoot the most are the ones I usually keep at least two magazines in here for. So I've got these for the, the P365, which I've been shooting a lot lately, as well as my Glock 17 and 19, which are the most common uh, pistols that I shoot. I also keep two magazines for each of those so that I can practice magazine changing drills. So that's another benefit of that as well. And then the final thing is I have my loaders. I have my Lula loaders. I have my uh, AR loaders. If you don't have one of these loaders and you have a handgun, go get one. They're one of the best loaders out there. They're, they're the Lula loaders. Again, I'll have links to all these at the, at the comments section, but this will save your thumb when you go out and shoot a lot of handgun rounds. You know you know what that's like where you're, you get the black thumb and it really hurts after pushing down a lot. This makes it so much easier. So I also keep that in here as well, as well as some other mag loaders for like 22s um, when I'm shooting my Rugers and things like that. So the great thing about, again, one of the most important aspects of my shooting bag is the fact that I keep my mag pouch with at least one magazine for every pistol that I shoot the most, comp the most often. Now you're gonna have a center part of the bag as well. The cool thing is it has a dual zipper so you can open it up and you have a wider area inside. And just looking at the things that I keep in here, I keep a lot of extra paperwork as well as targets and, and things of that nature in case I forget targets. At least I have a few of them as well. On this side, I, I usually keep a, a few extra shirts or, or just you know things I can use, for example, to lay down uh, or clean a gun. And then of course I keep a couple extra slings as well. And then looking at my other pockets, I have my laser rangefinder. I always keep it at least two pair of shooting muffs. So I do that for a couple reasons. One is I use this for indoors and I will double my ears up. So I'll put the inner ears in as well as the outer ears when I'm shooting indoors. If I'm shooting outdoors, I used to, I, I like to use the electronic one so I can hear what's around me better. Uh, worst case, if you go to the range or you're shooting with somebody and they don't have either ear protection, at least you have a, another backup pair for them as well. And then a couple other things I keep in here. I keep my, uh, I keep a, a shooting belt. It's a double web belt, so in case I'm ever to the range and I'm shooting, or I have a jet or a belt on that isn't really made for shooting. And if you've had a good belt and you've used them for carry, you know what I'm talking about. So I like to keep one of those there. I also keep an extra box of the most common ammunition that I shoot each time when I go to the range as well. So I always have 50 rounds of nine millimeter with me, an extra uh, box of 223, and then a, uh, an extra box of, of 22 ammo. And again, this is extra in case I just run out, right? If I go to the range, say, you know, I'm, I'm sighting in something and I just ran out, I didn't bring the right amount. At least I always have a back 
backup of, of a number of rounds for the most common uh, calibers that I shoot. Now a couple other things that I have in here, and again this is just my preference, but one is I keep a holster for what I usually practice with the most. In this case this is the, the P365 lately. I also have a Glock large holster, and these are kind of the more and the more universal Glock holsters. Um, the reason why I like this holster is not because I like to carry with it every day, but if I'm out shooting at the range and I forget to bring a holster, most of the semi-autos that I shoot will fit in this to one degree or another, whether it be loose or snug or whatever, it's just, it works, right? I can put my small to medium size to large frame Glocks in here mostly, as well as some other uh, semi-autos that I shoot, and it's very cheap. So worst case, if I just have to have something to keep the, the pistol in while I'm, I'm uh, at the range, this is something I use as a backup and it works really, really well. I also keep an extra mag carrier with me in case I need to practice mag drills. I always keep a pair of shooting gloves with me everywhere I go. Uh, if you have an AR, you absolutely should have a pair of shooting gloves, uh, especially if you're shooting mid-length or, or shorter or carbine length uh, ARs. You know what I'm talking about. If you shot a lot of rounds out and you're doing tactical drills and you touch the front side post or the front uh, front barrel, it can get pretty, uh, pretty hot. So it's a good idea to, to always have a pair of those. And then I always keep two extra AR mags in here as well, again, so that I again, won't forget, but more importantly, I can also do mag change drills if I need to with these backups. I also keep a 20 in here just in case I'm, I'm bench shooting and I just need to have a more stable platform. So those are the main things that I like to keep in my shooting bag. And the other great thing about this shooting bag is you can pull the central center compartment out uh, that will make more room as well if you need it. Uh, but in this case, I generally have enough room in here for my for what I'm using as well as adding in the ammunition that I need for, for a day at the range you know, if I'm going to shoot maybe a hundred rounds or something like that, I can easily put my pistol, pistol ammo in the middle here. If I'm going for a longer shoot day, I'll carry a, a, a separate bag uh, for my ammunition as well. But I just wanted to give everybody kind of a, a you know, an overview as to what do I typically keep into my shooting bag and why I have them in here. Again, if you have a lot of uh, different things that you're utilizing that I'm missing here, great. Please add it in the comments. It certainly will help everybody else. But the whole idea, again, is for me to keep all the inform all, all the uh, the materials that I need to make sure that when I go to the shooting range, I didn't miss anything that's going to stop me from having a good shooting day. Important is if somebody's coming with me, uh, I have something for them as well in case they forgot something as well, whether it be a magazine earring protection, things of that nature as well. So again, this is a great option to have. Again, if you're in, if new to shooting or if you've been shooting for a long time, definitely look into getting a, a shooting bag. Get your setup and, and trust me, when it comes to knowing moving forward, having good shooting days, whether it be outdoors or just simply going to an indoor range, it's always great to have everything in one place so that every time you go, all you have to do is drop your drop your guns into the bag um, and or grab it and go, and then you're pretty well set. The other final thing I like about the compartmentalization of the shooting bag is when I have a handgun, maybe I take a couple to the range, I can drop them into these sides here so that they're not sitting in the middle, they're not knocking each other, things of that nature if I also bring them along. So I can literally slip four different handguns into these various compartments here without having them touching metal to metal and scratching each other up as well. So that's again another benefit of having a larger size shooting bag as opposed in and having it compartmentalized the way it's done here by Midway USA as opposed to having one big monolithic bag that you throw everything into and it gets over time disorganized and, and again you might scratch up your guns or, or lose things for that matter. So this helps me keep organized as well. So if you're new to shooting or if you've been around a long time, hopefully this will help you moving forward. And if you like this channel or like this video, please like us on YouTube. And thanks for watching.